Hello, I am Shakti. I am working as assistant professor in the department of nursery and dietetics in KSR Women's College, Trichamur. We are going to see the second part of the principles of the nutrition. First one is energy. Energy is the ability to do the work. So it was trapped in the chemical constituents of the food and it uh, produces the heat and allow the body to the move or do any works. So energy was given by the carbohydrates, protein, fat and alcohol and vitamins and minerals, waters does not give the any energy but it was present for some purposes. And unit of the energy was measured in the form of kilocalories and kilocalories of energy is defined as the amount of heat energy to which it responds and one kilocalorie is defined at equal to 4.184 kilojoules and then the form of amount of energy released from the food and the how much of energy a man expenditure or how he utilized was uh, obtained by the direct and indirect calorie meter uh, from direct calorie meter there are two equipments that is bomb calorie meter and adver and rosa respiro respiration calorie meter which helps in deriving the energy value of the food and uh, helps in deriving the energy expenditure during the base and metabolic rate that is the BMR and then indirect calorie meters consists of some following equipments like Benetics oxy calorie meter, Benetics rod respiration apparatus and uh, Dowkes bag, Cofroni Michaelis respirometer, oxy log and Cosmode K2 respirometer which gives the energy value of the food and we can determine the basal metabolic rate and as well as we can determine the how much energy was expended during the work and macro minerals macro minerals are also known by the name major minerals it includes the sodium calcium chloride magnesium and potassium and so on and then it was obtained from the food sources and macro minerals cannot be produced by our body and some deficiency of uh, some macro minerals leads to some severe ramification for our health for example if you have any calcium deficiency it weakens the skeletal system and inc increases the risk of fractures and let's see about some functions of calcium which helps in the blood clotting as well as in muscle contraction and nerve function and is essential for the uh, building strong bones and teeth etc and micro minerals it is also known by the name called uh, trace minerals or minor minerals it includes the iron copper iodine zinc magnesium fluoride cobalt and selenium and uh, we discuss about some functions of iron like it helps in transporting the oxygen to all part of our body and uh, it uh, produces and stores the energy for the metabolism if uh, in uh, micro minerals it has another disadvantages if you take too much of micro minerals uh, it leads to toxicity let's see about some example like uh, selenium toxicity was uh, causes an individual who overdosed by the dietary supplements of the selenium it leads to nausea and uh, nail discoloration and uh, nail bitterness brittleness and hair loss and diarrhea and then vitamin vitamin is a natural and essential nutrient which was required in the small amount and it plays a major role in the growth and development of our body and repair and healing the wounds and helps in maintaining the healthy bone and tissues and in the important in the immune system and some biological functions so vitamin can be classified into two types as fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins fat soluble vitamins can be absorbed if you have some fat in your body and water soluble vitamins are uh, absorbed if you have some water in our body and uh, fat soluble vitamins are stored in our body uh, uh, some fat soluble vitamins are a b e k and then water soluble vitamins cannot be stored in our body it can be excreted excreted in the urine and let's see about some deficiency of some vitamins and their diseases deficiency of vitamin a causes the night blindness and the vitamin b1 deficiency causes 
beriberi and japism and vitamin b2 causes some deficiency in the skin burning sensations and then deficiency of vitamin b6 is convulsions conjunctives and some neurological disorders and deficiency of vitamin b12 causes pernicious anemia which is uh, decrease in the rbc in the hemoglobin and then deficiency of uh, vitamin c causes bleeding gums and scurvy and vitamin d deficiency causes improper growth of bone and uh, rickets and leads to soft bones in the kids and uh, vitamin d we can get some amount of vitamin d in the sunlight and deficiency of vitamin e leads to the weakness in the muscles and it increases the paragility of the rbc cells and then uh, vitamin k plays an important role in the blood clotting and if there is a deficiency of vitamin k it leads to the heavy blood loss in the cut as well as in the injury thank you